So the difference between parallel flow and counter flow you can see here. Here, this is a coaxial tube and hot fluid is passing through the inner tube and cold fluid is passing through the outer tube. In a parallel flow, both flow will be parallel. The direction of the flow will be parallel. And theta m is given by theta 2 minus theta m divided by log theta 2 by theta 1. And here this theta 1 is equal to difference between this entrance of in the left side it is th1 minus th1. So that difference is called theta 1. Theta 2 means th2 minus tz2. That is the theta 2. Now uh, here if you are considering the temperature and this axial distance or say area what happens is th1 decreases as we go towards that direction th1 decreases and it uh, raises a temperature th2 whereas tc1 here it will be cold as it absorbs temperature temperature increases so from tc1 the temperature increases to tc2 in counter flow what happens is this hot fluid and cold fluid is passing in different direction that is tc cold fluid is passing like this and hot fluid is passing like this so if you are drawing the this temperature for hot fluid as we go on axial direction temperature decreases for cold fluid what happens is temperature will be max minimum here that is in in this particular part temperature will be tc1 from that it increases to tc2 so if we are drawing this temperature diagram here it will be like this here it will be like this. so in temperature diagram there is a difference and theta m is given by the same formula theta 2 minus theta m by log theta 2 by theta 1. But the difference is theta 1 is equal to th1 minus tc2. That is here in the left side there is th1 and tc2. So th1 minus tc2. Theta 2 is equal to th2 minus tc1. So that is the difference. That is our parallel front one.